Hey guys, welcome to another Anime Kingdom discussion and review. This one will be on Akami Ga Kill Episode 1. And, you know, this anime looks really good. And, I mean really good. It starts off pretty much with, the, you see these bunch of these guys, these guys um, on a, in a carriage. And all of a sudden, boom, right out of the earth. A huge earth dragon comes out of nowhere. And it's like, right when it's about to hit him, here comes... I'm guessing the main guy at first, you know, cuts his hand off. And then all of a sudden, the, the earth dragon's like, and then all of a sudden, he just completely just destroys that dragon. And pretty badass start to an episode, That's I gotta admit. And all of a sudden, the guys are amazed and like, thanks, you, I can't believe you killed, you know, killed it all by yourself. And then he's uh, he, he seems all badass to them, he turns around, oh. You know, it was a piece of cake pretty much for me, obviously. You know, and they're like, oh. <laughs> but other than that, um, he says that his name is Tatsumi. He's the main character, I'm guessing. And he pretty much says, you know, to remember his name since it'll be famous throughout the Imperial Capital. And that's when the guys, you know, like, wait, you're talking about the Imperial Capital? That's where you're going? And they pretty much warn him of that place is more dangerous and there's monsters that are, that are even worse than that earth dragon there. And he's like, what are you talking about, monsters? Um, they have, you know, danger beasts there. But they're like, no, it's the people. And I'm like, oh, what does that mean? Then after we get this little narrative thing going on. And it's pretty much. It says, you know, how he, humans eventually rot away. Countries collapsed as well. And even the imperial capital, you know, which has prospered for years, is now a living hell of corruption. So that's what they mean, I'm guessing. Everyone is corrupted and stuff. And then it also says that evil spirits take human form and run amok, claiming everything as their own. Those evil which heaven cannot judge. And they will be dealt with darkness by us, the assassins. And that was a pretty, pretty badass. Then we get a cool... You know, I, I enjoyed the, op the opening. After the opening, then Tatsumi arrives at the capital. And he's pretty much amazed by everything. And he goes off to get recruited into the military. And right off, he sees that when he's talking to the guy that he'll start off... You know, he's like, I'm only going to start off as an infantry. And he's like, no, that was, that's a waste of time. He takes out his sword. I can show you my skill. And I, I should already be a commanding officer. And I'm like... <laughs> Where have you, who does that? I can picture like someone doing that nowadays runs into like the recruiting office and is like, you know, I'm already badass. You don't have to send, put me as inventory. Just make me a general already. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? And then he gets just thrown out and it's pretty much, you know, they're being flooded with applicants due the, to the recession. So like they don't have time for him. So he sits there thinking, you know, what should he do? Does, you know, does he need to like, you know, show off to someone, everyone, get himself known. And that's when a girl comes out of nowhere and it's like, hey, and he like looks up and then all of a sudden he's he sees her boobs like Wing, and they're huge and he's like Oh, so this is the Imperial Capital and I'm just laughing like oh gosh. And then she pretty much tells him that she can help him out, you know, into getting higher you know, getting up in higher up. And she said, he's like, oh, how? And he's like treating a lady to, you know, a meal. So he goes and treats her to a meal. And then that's when she tells him that she can help him out. That because she knows a guy in the military. But, you know, he'll, he can get her, he, he can help get him to commanding officer ready if he gives her money. And I'm already like, okay. And then he gives her this huge sack of, I'm guessing gold and she's like oh okay and takes it and I'm like oh no this is camp this isn't gonna be uh he's an idiot who just gives money like that you know but then she's like pretty much tells him that she'll do it and as she's leaving she says she thinks that this encounter with her will serve him a valuable lesson and then she leaves and I'm like yep don't be an idiot and give money like that and just be so gullible and then 
he waits there like the whole day and then finally when the owner is like oh we're closing he's like oh no i'm waiting for someone and he's like no she's not coming back you got swindled and he's like no one in the village would do that to me and i'm like oh gosh uh i don't know you're such an idiot but then he re- after the meal he has no money so he ends up he sits down on the street and decides i guess i'm just gonna sleep here on the street until a carriage stops by and a girl comes out and offers him pretty much to stay and her name her name's aria and her guards are like oh she does this normally so i'm guessing she's a nice girl that you know likes to help out people and so he accepts which at first he was like "Uh, i don't know you know after getting you know his money taken like an idiot but he ends up accepting and that's when they appear in her house with the mom and dad being like oh you brought someone home again and I'm guessing, yeah, she does this a regular thing and they're okay with it because, you know, he's like, yeah, you can stay, no problem at all. And he then Tatsumi explains about, you know, how he wants to join the military and rise in the ranks to pretty much save his village. And that's when we also see, like, he talks about it. It's like a flash, kind of flashback kind of thing that we learned that he, he was also with two other people. And those two people... He's with them, and the chief of the village gives him this little statue thing and says it's uh, when times gets rough. And then Tatsumi immediately says, oh, sell it? And he's like, no! And I'm like, well, I mean, I guess that's a one way. But if you keep it close, he pretty much says, if you keep it close, then God will help you, pretty much. After that, the story is told. The dad says he will recommend him in his to his friend in the military. And also look for his two friends since they were, you know, they got split up. And I'm thinking, wow, these guys are really nice. Is this real? Because, you know, after the whole incident with him losing his money like that, you know. But who knows? After that, Tatsumi is with Arya and her guards buying a lot, going around the city buying a lot of, like, things. And I mean a lot. He's got the whole, like, it's, like, fully stacked up with, like, they're all wrapped to in, like, presents, like... Like, what the heck? And that's when one of the guards tells them about how points to the imperial capital. And then um, Tatsumi's like, oh, that's where the emperor lives? And he's like, "Um, yeah, but the emperor is actually a kid. And the prime minister is actually, you know, controlling the country from the shadows. And that's also why um, Tatsumi's village is being taxed so hard. And, you know, corruption, no wonder. And then he also tells them about Night Raid, which is, you know, a group of assassins that attack high ranking executives and, you know, the upper class of the capital. After that, we're at, it's at night, I guess, already. And, you know, the mom's walking through the house talking about, oh, I love writing this diary. I'm going to actually continue. And all of a sudden, I don't know her. She gets cut in half. And this one chick's behind her. And I'm just like, what the heck? Literally just cut in half. That girl cut her in half with her sword. And all of a sudden, Tatsumi wakes up. And, you know, he's like, what's going on? Because he senses murderous intent. And right when he leaves his room, right outside the window, all of Night Night Raid is there. Just, like, standing. And they're like, what the heck? And he's like, what should he do? And he sees the guard, three guards running out. And then one of the girls with the so- another girl with the sword and this huge guy with, uh, you know, armor and a huge lance just takes him out so fast. And I was like, dang, pretty crazy. This is pretty bloody and action so far. And he's like, what should I do? Should he go and protect and help? You know, so after that, we see what looks like that girl that stole his money with like cat paws and a cat ears and just kills the, the, the dad. Just... <laughs> his neck and after that we see tatsumi finds one of the guards with aria that and he was taking her to the storeroom till the officials arrive you know to help and that's when the girl one of the girls with the swords comes out of nowhere to you know kill aria and the guard and so tatsumi you know stands ready to help because you know he's a good guy and all of a sudden, right when it seems like she's about to hit him, she's like, not target, and jumps on his head over and kills the guard. And right, I was like, what the heck? Just jumps on his head. And then right after that, right when she's about to kill the Arya, 
Tatsumi um, jumps in the way and says that he'll protect her. And, you know, she says that you're not a target. You don't you don't have to. You can run away. She's a target, you know. And Tatsumi says, no, you're going to kill her if I leave. So he ends up trying to fight her and he's really just outclassed. And right when it seems like she's about to stabs him right here. But what happens? He's lucky. He's not dead. He was saved by that statue the chief gave him. And I'm guessing, look, it did save him. <laughs> but after that, it doesn't matter because all of a sudden she's about to slash him and would just cut his head off until the girl with the that we saw before with the cat paws saves him, stops the attack. And then he that's when he yells out, you're the boobs from earlier. And I'm just like, what the? Who says that? You know, but <laughs> and she's like, she just completely just like, who cares? She just like, I don't know if she was listening or not. I was like, oh, whatever. Um, She's like, that's right. The beautiful lady. Like, no, he said boobs. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> she then says that, um, you know, he said something about how when he was going to defend Arya, how could you kill an innocent? And. She's like, will you still think that now? And op like, pretty much not open. She kicks down the storeroom doors. And that's when Tatsumi sees like all these bodies hanging. And I'm like, whoa, what the heck? And then it turns out that they lure people in from the countryside and torture them and play around with them until they are dead. And I'm just thinking, I knew it was too good to be true when, you know, all of this, they let them in. Sure, you can you know, rest here, eat. I also give you a recommendation to my friend in the military. No ways. That is just, that's bull crap. <laughs> and then that's also when he sees one of his friends, Sayo, naked with cuts all over, hanging dead. And he cannot believe it at first. And that's when Arya starts to walk away, tries to, you know, sneak away. And then the girl with cat hands, um, and the cat ears grabs her and says, trying to walk, why are you trying to run away? And that's when Arya pretty much goes crazy and she starts yelling out, you know, stuff like. No, not sorry. She didn't do that yet. She says that, do you believe the person, you know, she didn't even know that everything was there. And she's like, do you believe that the person who saved you, her or these people? And that's all of a sudden when his other friend, I Iyasu, is just all messed up behind like behind bars and like oh you know he says Tat Tatsumi is that you Tatsumi and then he says that our the girl Arya was the one who invited him and Sayo over and then when they ate they lost consciousness and then that's when they appeared there and they tortured him and her just completely and that's when Arya starts yelling is all this wrong they're all hicks from the country the same as cattle, if she, and you know she's free to do whatever she wants with them, and I'm just like, holy crap, she's going crazy. Not she's going crazy, she is crazy. These people are crazy that they'll do stuff like that. What the heck? And that's when the girl with the sword, she's you know takes out her sword, about to kill Arya, and that's when Tatsumi stops there, and they're thinking, what? You're still gonna defend her? And then he says, no. He wants to kill her and just cuts her up. And I was just without hesitation or anything. That's also, since he killed her without hesitation, the other girl was like, hmm, even though he despised her, it's still, you know, didn't expect him to just kill her outright without hesitation like that. And then all of a sudden, I Yasu coughs up blood. And, it, and then they talk about, it seems the mom liked to drug up, drug them up and the drug that she used, that, that was the final stages before death. And he dies right there. And um, messed up, man, that they got tortured like that. And that's when the girl, the girl with cat hands and ear pulls him away, pull, starts pulling him, saying, oh, we should bring him, you know, he can join us. And he's just like, no, what are you doing? Let go of me the whole time. And that's pretty much when. She brings him to Night Raid and says, oh, he's going to be joining us now, you know? And he's like, what? No, I don't want him. You know, he pretty much doesn't want to join the group of assassins and stuff. But they pretty much don't listen. And she gives him to her one of the guy with big armor, um, Bulachi, I think his name was. And <laughs> he's this big, tough guy with armor, huge lance. And you're thinking, dang, this guy's a tough guy. And he... <laughs> 
<laughs> he pretty much said, like, I'll oh, promise. It'll, I promise it will get better. And I'm just like, what the hell is up with it? They're making all these guys look badass. And then all of a sudden it's like this. And he's just like, what will? <laughs> and then that's pretty much the end. They leave. And yeah, I, I honestly, I really enjoy this episode. I give this episode 8 out of 10. Had a lot of action while also giving, you know, a good story on what's going on. And who really intense episode. I really enjoyed it. And the next episode, we'll get to see, you know, him. He's now with Night Raid. So we'll get to see more action with the rest of the group. And, you know, learn who all of them are and stuff. And why, they, you know, why they're doing that and stuff. Well, obviously, it's why they're doing it is because the corruption. But, yeah. So... You know, this is a discussion and a review. So if you guys want, just comment below what you thought about this ep- what you thought about this episode. If you have any questions for me, then comment below as well. You know, and if you're excited for the next episode, comment that below as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this anime kingdom discussion and review. Till next time, guys. See ya.